but insanely clean. What's up? How are you? Good. All right, you guys want in the old? I'm doing an old-fashioned review. You want to be in this or? Stay off the cuff. That's O F F. Show them bars to the worldwide net. All the drinks may yet pass one to me. Let's see he the old-fashioned king, the old-fashioned king. Virginia is for Grubbers. We are back again with another Old Fashioned Friday. And this week we're coming to you from the Holy Grail, the place where it all started. All the bourbon lovers. You either have been to this spot or it's your dream to come to this spot to go on a bourbon trail, do some tours. If you don't know what I'm talking about already, we we're in Louisville, Kentucky. And we had to do an Old Fashioned Review while we were right here in Louisville. I did a deep, deep, deep dive for a ton of different cocktail bars. And this place ultimately looked like it was going to be at the top of the list. Today we were at Meat Bottle and Bourbon Shop. Not not only do they have an insane selection of bourbon behind me, but they also have a shot of a ton of Buffalo Trace products and a, an insane amount of vintage bourbon products. Some from the 60s, some from the 70s. Nonetheless, you guys know how this works. If you just tuned into our channel, what we do is you go around the entire country. We review old fashions every single Friday. We call it Old Fashioned Friday. We have over 100 plus episodes. However, this is our first time that we've ever done one in Kentucky. I know, like, what, what, what's, what's taking you so long? What are you waiting on? You know what I mean? This is the birthplace. We should have probably started and done a few here. Nonetheless, we made it though. You guys know how this works though. It's zero to three on appearance for sip overall taste, zero through one on overall ambiance. Let's talk about this appearance real quick. If you watched any of the episodes, you know. Single cube, clarified ice, automatic, huge plus. Got a nice little orange peel here. Two beautiful Luxardo cherries on top. Somewhat of a typical bar glass, pub glass, if you will. Nothing too fancy on the glass side, but everything else is exactly what we're looking for. Off of appearance, I think it's a fair score to go two nine. We'll jump into this first sip. Here we go. Cheers. Decision confirmed. I did come to the right place. Insanely clean. A little bit, a little bit of a bite to it. Small bite. We're in Kentucky. Somebody handed me an old fashioned that was too sweet. I would be, I would feel almost disrespected. So I'm a fan of that, but insanely clean. What's up? How are you? Good. All right, you guys want in the old? I'm doing an old fashioned review. You want to be in this or? Absolutely. Do you have an old fashioned? Yes. If you had to rate that zero through ten, like what would you give that? I'd probably fashion? give it a nine nine yes fair score yes cheers so a 9.0 from from a guest behind us again off the first sip very clean very well balanced all the cocktails at this place are actually 12 dollars. i'm actually shooting this on a tuesday evening where all of them are seven dollars this is a seven dollar old-fashioned with clarified ice off the of first sip i'm gonna go two nine we'll get into the overall experience and then we'll talk about the ambiance of this place itself i'm really excited about the ambiance the ambiance of this place is off the charts here we go Extremely consistent, which is a plus. Let's talk about the ambiance of this place. Neat bourbon and bottle shop. The most insane selection of vintage bourbons I've ever seen. One of the best bourbon selections I've ever seen was in Reno, Nevada at Death and Taxes. They have a little kind of like a speakeasy bourbon shop in the back. Unbelievable bourbon selection. However, it's all very new and recent bourbons that have just been put out. These are bourbons from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. We're talking bottles that you've probably never even seen before and they have them here. The prices, I mean, listen, they're from the 60s so you're gonna pay for it, you know what I mean? The prices are, you know what I mean? However, they did have a Blanton's flight, $29 plus tax. You get Blanton's gold, Blanton's black, and a Blanton's from 1993. So that's a phenomenal deal as well. This has some really cool speakeasy vibes, dark lighting, intimate, cool date night spot. There's also a huge like dining room on the side of it. And again, behind us, you also have this vintage bourbon shop. So as far as the ambiance is concerned, full one, I would go a hundred if I could, because this place is just that insane. Here we go, with overall experience. Great company too, don't forget that. Yeah, we got some, some girls behind us drinking old fashioned. We got some gentlemen drinking Blanton's from the 80s. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. We're in Kentucky, baby. Best $7 old fashioned I've ever had. I actually don't even think I've ever had a $7 old fashioned. This is insanely good. Overall, I'm gonna stick to the same 2.9. I'm at a 9.7. One of the highest scores we did this year in 2023. Neat bourbon and bottle shop. Louisville, Kentucky. Virginia is for rubbers. Cheers, guys.